All right, let's do the lesson adding and subtracting integers. This is a great lesson for, gosh, I'd say sixth grade and up. And I have a great method. I got it from some coworkers about 10 years ago, uh, Bree and Heather. And it is just something that students really, really can connect with. So let's get started. We've got battle and party or positivos versus negativos. All right, so let's talk a little bit about positive and negative things. Um, some negative things, they're not the same as positive. Cold temperature, below sea level, being in debt, downhill slope of a line, yards lost on a football field, or left on a number line. Positive numbers, hot, above sea level, a profit of money, uphill slope of a line, yards gained on a football field, and any numbers to the right on a number line. So we're going to have a battle or a party with our numbers. The good guys are going to be the positive numbers. We'll call them the positivos. The bad guys are going to be the negative numbers. We'll call them the negativos. So we're going to have a battle or a party. We have to decide. So here we have nine positives showing up for the battle. Here's our nine. All right, then we have five negatives showing up for the battle. So Who will win this battle? Who is there more of? Because whoever there's more of will win. So if there is a bigger number of negatives or a bigger number of positives, that'll be the winner of the battle. This is a battle because there are good guys and bad guys both present. Okay, we can cancel out one positive and negative. We can cancel out two positives and negatives. We cancel out three. We cancel out four. We cancel out five. Who's still alive? Who's still standing? That's right. It's these four good guys. The positivos won. Positive four. So if you wanted to write this as a math problem, I would say nine plus negative 5 equals 4. All right, now we have to decide, are we going to have a battle or a party? Seven positivos show up for the battle. Five more positivos show up for the battle. Okay, so now listen. There's only positives. There's nobody to fight. All the positives are just going to hang out together. They're not going to battle each other. They're all on the same side. So we've got a party. So I've got seven positivos. Five more positivos show up. How many positives partying all together? Twelve. All right, so let's talk. Number one, is it a battle or a party? Five plus five. Five positives, five positives. Battle or party? All right, number two. Four positives, five negatives. Four positives, five negatives. Battle or party? Number three. Seven negatives, five positives. Battle or party? Party? a battle, and a battle. I hope you got that right. Feel free to press, press pause at any time coming up if you need time to work out the problems on your own. Here we go. We're not going to draw a line every single time that we have a math problem, especially when the numbers get larger than 10. So we need to remember the rules. Here's the rules once again. Whoever has more guys wins. 
and then you decide by how many are they going to win. So here, we could go There's still four good guys, four positivos alive, so the answer is positive four. It was a battle. Who will win? The positives won because there's more. By how many? Four. All right. So here's some examples of parties because. Positivo, 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 positivo. Everywhere you look, there's positives. Press pause so that you can solve problems one through six. Here we have battles. And every single math problem here, seven through 12, the signs are different. So whoever has the bigger number that sign will win. Whoever has the bigger number, that sign will win. I want to let you know, for example, number 10, I could do 4 plus negative 5. We call it adding the opposite. It looks like this. We make the plus sign and we make the 5 negative. Adding the opposite, it's called. Same thing with 11. 13 plus negative 7, you could rewrite it as. 54 plus negative plus negative 14, you could rewrite it as. Press pause so that you can solve problems 7 through 12. Here's the answers. 1 through 6, did you get them right? Here's the answers, 13 through 24. Did you get them right? Again, 13 through 24 is answers. I hope you've enjoyed the battle and the party. I think this is a great way for people of all ages to remember how to do integers. Enjoy!